It's all about the groundwork. Here at the new landfill expansion of the Tapuhia Quarry site in the outbacks of Vaini Village in Tonga Tapu. And taking everything in her stride is lead engineer Mele of Akivila Mafi. This is called a cell? Yes, so what we're currently constructing is a cell. So the rubbish will go into the cell, but inside the cell, there's a first clay layer, like what we are looking at right now. Mele Offa is in charge of this project. There are not many female engineers in the country, and she takes her job seriously. Okay. I am the project engineer for this construction, so that involves like making sure that construction is on ways, dividing the tasks and the work within the team, and just trying to um, make sure that what we're actually constructing here on site matches the plans that we are given. Sometimes the plans do not meet the site conditions. So that's when we come in as engineers. So we try and negotiate with the project management unit of the best solutions that we can address the problems with. Mele Offa knows the importance of making sure the expansion of the landfill is done to a high standard because it will affect the communities and the environment. The landfill is, is an important um, part of our lives, you know, of our communities. If we don't have the landfill, where else are we going to put the rubbish? There's going to be pollution and, you know, a better, cleaner Tonga needs a nice landfill. So I'm happy to be able to contribute to that and also with the resealing works, uh, making sure that we have good roads. I know they're not 100%, but we're getting there and the progress is all we're fighting for right now. Mele Opa Kivila Mafi. A high achiever, in 2019, she was head girl and ducks at Tonga High School, topping five subjects and travelling to Aotearoa on a scholarship. Mele Opa is an example of Tonga's investment in her, with her Masters in Civil Engineering under her belt, coming full circle. So I moved back here to Tonga at the beginning of the year. I'm currently contracted under Bethany Civil Works as their project engineer. And um, these two companies are also run by two females. So that's a progress in Tonga and that's something that we really want to see, especially with women empowerment um, being a pressing issue nowadays. She was also a recipient of the Prime Minister's Pacific Youth Award and only last year, the spin-off named her one of 25 wahine and tahines changing the world. And that five years seemed like the longest time of my life in New Zealand. But you know, so it, it just led me back here to Tonga and I'm grateful for this opportunity to help um, contribute to our society, our countries and make sure that we have the proper infrastructure. Tonga is number four most vulnerable to climate change in the world. It's critical that we have the infrastructures that we need in order to adapt to these changes. And I think to be a part of that, um, to be a part of that work and contributing to our communities is actually a beautiful thing. Like working at Tapuhia. Contributing to changing the mindset and breaking the mold. Paving the way for women in engineering. It's a cultural change for us Pacific women to be seen on site as project engineers, as civil engineers, as, you know, doing all stuff that these work were dominated by men. But I know there's quite a few of us Tongan girls that have resorted to this kind of work. And I'm hoping that, you know, by doing this, um, the younger Tongan girls would look up to it and be like, okay, if she can do it, then I can do it.